Sagittarius. It's time for your mid-April to May reading of this current year, which is 2019, because I kind of remembered what year it was. So, go me. Yay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this doesn't resonate with you, cool beans. If it, if it does resonate with you, cool. If it doesn't, still cool, because it's just a card game. Now, it's going to be a Thunderdome, so I'm reading for two people, you and who you're dealing with. So, hold your breath, make a wish, and put the gun down. Because I got a feeling that, like, some of y'all just have a gun in your hand, and it's just like, ah. Wait. Don't murder people yet. Even though it's there. Alright, group one. We got for you. Empress. Yeah, this is cool. Sagittarius. I'm almost confused, but it is. Alright. The Empress reversed. Four of Swords reverse. The lovers and the fears and rejections. This is the wants and wishes once again. Sorry. Um the situation is the devil. It could be Capricorn. Or it could just be someone trying to slide into them dms or into your life and just cause chaos look at those nails that is so ridiculous baby this one's got like the flimsy fucking toenails and fingers too so he's so tim burton like <laughs> the uh, obstacles and challenges that you have to face are coming against you knight of swords libra gemini aquarius and, and this one's gemini by the way and then there's your card, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, is the beginning and the ending of it all. And the beginning theme for group one is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Page of Cups, Reverse. Someone really not offering an apology, their love, yada yada, not cooperating, not opening up. I got something in my eye. Ah. Anyway. Let's continue on. So, group one. You might be coming off with a nasty attitude and not really speaking what you need to speak. So, here's this empress not being very happy, not being very um, kind, nurturing, keeping all your love and energy to yourself. Um, but we have the high priestess here, so you're not really expressing anything except for what's needed to know. Um, your wisdom is, is you know you're out of whack. But you don't know what to say in contrast to that. You're keeping secrets to yourself. You're not letting people know how kerflunkled you are. Then we have the devil down here. It could be a Capricorn or it could be just someone trying to come in and cause mischief. Like, it's literally what that is. Yeah, someone's trying to cause mischief behind the curtains, whereas they're getting everything they want. So it's like... Someone is in that devil energy. Like, this isn't even about, like, you know, um, in this deck, it's not even about two people being in a bad relationship. It's just someone being on the DL doing some nasty stuff, right? Kind of like this thing in my eyeball. It's always things in the eyeballs. But that's beside the point. Yeah, someone's sneaking around doing naughty stuff, group one, but they're keeping their good nature to themselves and not really expressing anything, so that's interesting. The Four of Swords Reverse, this is a want and wish. Someone does not want to take time and effort to think things over about a really bad relationship with the Devil card once again, possibly Capricorn, you're dealing with right here, group one. Someone, like, you got the Devil sneaking around in the background, while someone gets whatever they want. Like, this is almost like a puppet, right? Like, this is just a little thing sitting here. And in the background here is the master. And this is the person causing trouble. And someone really doesn't want to think about how this relationship affects them in a negative manner. Like, it, and it's not that the devil is the one that's causing the relationship to be bad. It's... Two people's relationship and how they vibe together, which is summoning the devil to make things worse. Right? Right. Below this is the Knight of Swords, which is what's going against you as an obstacle and a challenge. Which is basically like ghosting, you know? Like someone not speaking to you, someone running away from conversation, or just muddying everything 
to where like no matter what they say you aren't getting any sort of information out of them that you really want this is something you have to surrender like if you're like group one if you're the ones that are not coming out and speaking and you're not trying to like actually think things over you kind of need to do that that's your obstacle um or you're keeping your mouth shut that's the obstacle and the only way to go around that is by being at this crossroads and figuring out what you have to sacrifice what you have to give up we have the lovers and the fears and rejection could be gemini right but it deals with like two people someone might be an da -da -da, and the other person is just poisoning the other while they're getting bit by a snake Someone's afraid in this relationship, the fighting's not going to end, if not get worse. My hair is just atrocious. I can't wait to fix it. Like, it's so out there. If I would just if, see it all. I've seen it all, still can't taste it. That corn song. And I got your card right here, a Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, Regal. Knows things, uses her intuition, stands there expecting people to take care of her. Oh, and a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Either trying to get in tune with your emotions or you're trying to pair up with somebody. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Ooh. All right, so normally I don't say this about the Queen of Pentacles because usually she is just as demanding, if not um, severe with her pentacle when she's in reverse. She's like a demanding spouse, but I kind of feel like someone cheated and they're not offering their love anymore. Like a lot of people like associate the Queen of Pentacles reverse with an unfaithful spouse, and this is the only time I've actually felt like that's right because normally I, w I would be like eh, queen of pentacles like I, like I, I really don't see earth signs as much of cheaters as other signs but it's like this time it's kind of like yeah could be capricorn once again because it's all over the board but it's like It's kind of like the Queen of Wands. Like, she wants what she wants, and she wants it now, but she's not getting it. So, that's why she's not giving her cup out. Like, she went and got it from somewhere else. Why does this sound familiar? I don't know. It sounds, like, so familiar to me, but I know I haven't done you guys yet, so it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, someone walked away to look for happier joy. Their cups are... Bleh, their cups. Their cups are empty. And they just want to walk away or to something that'll make them happy because this home is just completely chaotic and the door is shut right in their face. I don't know why I'm getting... I don't know, it just... This one just seems like a almost... I don't know. Yeah, there's a whole book right there. We will read the book. There was balance needed in this home, and now the decision's stagnant because it's too much for somebody. And no matter how much information someone's looking for, like, things aren't changing. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, right? But... Or, like... Like, this Page of Swords is looking at the Scorpio like they're waiting for something, some news to come in, and it's like... Mm, like someone isn't changing their ways or some shit. Oh. Oh. We'll do three for you, group one. Not saying I'm doing it for group two, but it's like, you guys definitely got multiples. Um, it seems like with Sagittarius, there might be some illusions when it comes to their place as the empress in this home. Because, um... Yeah, because the Empress is right here and she's holding secrets.
Sagittarius, are you cheating? Because <laughs> that's what I kind of feel like right now. Like, somebody's definitely, um... In this energy of where, like, they feel like they're not getting what they want, so they're going to leave to go get it from somewhere else. Oh, no. Let's see what group two has to say. Group two, you tell me whether or not you're the devil or not. Like, you know... I totally forgot to write everybody's titles for their videos down. I'll just make them up. Usually I'm good with that. That's okay. Alright, Sagittarius. Group 2. Fight. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Something about your identity, group two, this is going to be coming up. Nine of Pentacles. Like, trying to fit yourself within the parameters of who we, and what you are. Which is ironic, because Sagittarius is all about philosophy. And death cults. I don't understand what it is about death cults, but that's there. Nice ass moon. Laser wolf. No, anyways, something popped up on my phone. I apologize. Okay, group two. You have Seven of Cups, Page of Swords, and your wants and wishes. Are you the one snooping? Hmm. Ten of Swords, that betrayal and the fears and rejections. I think I know who these people are, and I hate when that happens. The Two of Cups in the situation. Yep. King of Swords reverse in the obstacles and challenges that are coming against you. Yep. Six of Pentacles reverse. The beginning theme. Four of Wands reverse. Yeah. I know exactly who's going along with these in my life right now. I know exactly who this is. That sucks. Ah, uh, yeah. Something in the home went down range. There is a lack of completion, lack of closure. I hate it when people I know show up in my shit. Alright, Seven of Cups. Emotion and confusion. Option stuff, right? Going into your creativity to like... Technically like, bring yourself out. Whereas on the outside you're just kind of like zoned out. Like, the dark side is like expressive. Whereas on the light side it's like you're not showing anybody anything. Right? Conscious subconscious. Yeah, you're doing all that because you're feeling out in the cold, left alone. There's this person back here with a bell and sticks to walk on. And he just, he probably drills on himself just a little bit. And it's like the symbolism of the liability. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when so many people say negative stuff about you, that it starts to like get heavy. And it feels like you're carrying all the weight of their words around. Just being like, you know, like, do do do, you're an idiot. And then, like, you're just walking in the cold with this thing lingering, like a voice in the back of your head. Except it's not a voice, it's just some dude. It's all kerflunkled. And you're dragging around with you. Almost like you're homeless. Like. You're out in the cold in the wilderness and you gotta drag this dude along with you. That's why you're confused emotionally and don't know what to do. Two of cups right here. Two people. Soulmates, lovers, friends, family. Whoever you got a strong connection with, right? That's the situation. Yeah, someone doesn't even want to talk about this. 
like someone's running away from this relationship. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or someone just is going to come in and try to make scramble words in order to avoid talking about the actual situation. But it's like someone's ghosting somebody. Then we have a page of swords right here. Another error. There's a lot of freaking swords here, but whatever. Um, on the lookout for information, your wants and wishes. You're looking for something. Possibly searching social media for, for some information because you really don't know what kind of choices you have. You don't know what to do, especially. King of Swords, nasty attitude, nasty, nasty attitude, and not wanting to come out with, like, honest truth or whatever. He's going the same direction as the, uh, Page and the Knight of Swords in this so far, right? They're both looking in the same direction. Well, all three are looking in the same direction, and he's just got a very bad attitude. This is your challenges and obstacles going against you. Uh, Scorpio's card, Death. Like, things need to change in order for the new to come in. Things must die in order for life to... Whatever. Like, that's why he's going around, like, sucking the life out of everybody in this freaking card. Ugh. Someone's got a nasty attitude. Someone doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, my. Ten of Swords in the Spheres and Rejections. Betrayal. Being stabbed, not only in the back, but uh, through your nose, through your feet, through your hands, through everything. Ten swords while you're confined into a box and forced to endure the torture. There's a fear in that. That led to this home being out of place. Also, lack of closure. Things didn't get completed with the family. What the fuck is... Oh, that's a vase. Never mind, that's a vase. Yeah, um... Things did not close with this household the way they should have. In fact, it was kind of... Dismantled. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles reverse. Someone is not giving as much as they should. Like, look at how much is dick. Like, this person knows that they're holding back so much. It's not like they aren't aware. It is not like the person down here who's begging is unaware either. They both know. Somebody has the power and someone is begging for something. But that information is not coming out. That's being hidden by the High Priestess reverse. Or if it is going to be coming out, it's going to be coming out in a way that is, um... Confusing, dickish, and almost inappropriate. Like, someone is figuring out that, like... Someone hasn't been fair the... Someone's been selfish the entire time. What is the ending theme in this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, someone kind of manipulated this home into being nothing but utter chaos with the magician reverse. Like, think of it as, like, that manifesting I, I told you guys about one time. Um, when you sit there and be like, I want more money, all you're doing is telling the universe... Oh, you want to keep wanting more money and then just end up keep wanting money over and over again but not getting anywhere? Like, the universe is not going to give you what you want to manifest unless you put some energy into it. If you want more money, you got to start looking for ways to make more money. If you want a bicycle, you got to go and put into the action as if you're going to obtain that bike that same day. You just put in the energy for it. It's not like just set it and forget it. You actually have to work towards it. And unfortunately, this person worked towards the, um, house getting fuckered up. What have you tagged me to, kind sir? You sexy thing. Okay. 
It's one of those ones that says, you won't share this because your girlfriend is watching, so I'll always tag you to do it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Commitment, marriage right here. Someone is not focusing on that. Mm. Yeah. But there will be an end to the fighting or the fighting will get worse before it ends. One of the two. It's going to hit a crescendo. Right? All right. That's the final advice card. Like, I feel like if someone's going to get married, this is a really bad idea. Or maybe not. Maybe things will work out the way they're supposed to and you guys will be able to um, fix this. Heal from your broken heart. After all of this. But I also feel like those two fingers up with the Hierophant, there's things that you still don't know. Especially dealing with two people. Just be careful, though. But, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you very much for watching. If you want a personal reading, just hit me up in my email that's in the description box below. Okay? You guys have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.